April 19th, 2014, a Saturday night victory for BYU and three against USC in the Mountain Pacific Sports Federation quarterfinal. BYU dominates USC. I mean, this just wasn't a win, Steve. This was a domination. Maybe the best match BYU's played all year, and they do it in the conference tournament. I know. I kept waiting for something to happen, for them to let off the gas or for SC to take it to another level. And BYU just hammered down all night, and they just ran right over the top of them. Tons of questions coming into the match. Four-match losing streak. BYU starts Robbie Sutton, et cetera. BYU answered the call with service line pressure. Five aces tonight. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, when you can serve lights out like that, and we've seen them serve tough balls, but right at somebody, and they're handled well. When you can serve like that away from the passer, trouble. Four aces from Sander, three in a row at one point, and then blocking the ball. BYU dominated. 12 blocks. Yeah, we're so used to seeing BYU block like that, but still in this kind of situation, win or go home, to see them step up like that, they were nuts. Robbie Sutton, backup setter, gets a start. I don't know how he could have played better. Yeah, his location, his tempo, even when he got in trouble, the decision making, everything. Man, he ran this team well. I was waiting for him to start calling audibles and stuff. It was crazy. Omaha! <laughs> Omaha! <laughs> Ski. Had three blocks as well, distributed the ball effectively. Robbie Sutton, fantastic stuff. We'll hear from him in a moment. Final stats as Sander leads the way with 13 kills. BYU hit 519 tonight, Steve. Yeah, on the night with a backup setter, a guy that's played a couple times this year when they were killing somebody. To come in and have the night he did was so big for BYU. Everybody, chip on their shoulder. You know, if you want it, you're going to have to take it from me, and nobody could tonight. Moments ago, Andy Boyce spoke with Robbie Sutton. Robbie, that was an unbelievable match. Lots of energy. Tell us your thoughts on that match. Uh, you said it best, energy. I thought we came out with just great, great energy. And we believed in ourselves. We had a couple hard weeks uh, last two weeks, but we had a great week of practice. And we knew, we knew we could come out and work these guys. Now, your first career start, what a tough environment. Talk to us about that. Oh, the crowd makes it an easy environment here. and. Uh, all my players just uh, sent in text me this morning with all the confidence that they had in me, and it, it made it easy, it made it real easy. It looked to me like you were having a blast out there. You were playing loose and just having fun. Oh, yeah. That's volleyball's greatest sport on earth, and uh, I got to play with my good friends in a, in a really meaningful match, so why not have a lot of fun doing it? Well, nice job. Best of luck next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. We knew we could come out and work these guys. <laughs> they did. Wow. The confidence from Sutton as BYU advances to the semifinal, which as the highest remaining seed, BYU will host the semifinal at the Smith Fieldhouse. We will do Thursday's match live, 10 Eastern time, against the winner of Santa Barbara and UCLA, Stanford, Irvine, Pepperdine, Long Beach State on the other side of that as BYU advances to the semifinal. Now, here's the situation with the NCAA tournament. If you win the MPSF tournament, you're in. But there are two at-large bids this year. Com more than likely uh, two MPSF teams. If BYU can win Thursday, they're going to be in, it's essentially. It, sure. So Thursday's match is a championship-type match. And BYU is going to play Santa Barbara UCLA, who they beat at home, and they'll play the match at home. But last week, they lost to both those teams. What do yeah. you think of the potential matchup with either? No, seriously, like the plot thickens as we go, right? I mean, they, they've dropped four straight coming into tonight, two of those against either team that they're going to see in the second round. I mean... It's exciting stuff. The fact that they're home bodes very well for BYU. You see how they play when they're at home. I and mean, this is their house. If you want it, take it. But you got to pry it out of my dead fingers if you want it. So we, we did not know how well BYU would play at home. We know they're great at home. 12 and 0 this season, a 24 match home win streak. Thursday semifinal on BYU team.